Fighting an enemy that continues to evolve requires tactics to change as well. Developing new ways to identify and neutralize improvised explosive devices is a continuous process. Uh, we train and certify combat engineers on route clearance packages. Here we're training them on how to properly deploy a uh, Talon robot. On the hillside. Hello, the, the soldiers Hello, attending the, the course have previously trained with the robots at Fort Leonard Wood and spend five days learning from Sergeant Smith and his team. Let's go! We recertify them and give them specific limitations for doing these operations here in Afghanistan. Keeping service members away from potential threats is the most effective way to keep them safe during their missions. They're the ones out there actually clearing the route. One of the biggest advantages to having the robots is it removes those engineers from having to manually approach those explosive hazards. Allowing troops to investigate quickly and move on also contributes to mission safety. It eliminates our time on target, so we don't always have to wait on ELD. The course also teaches that you need to take care of your robot for it to take care of you. Do your PMCS, you run over a pressure plate outside the wire, it's going to blow your robot. So basically if they do the same thing out here, we just turn the robot off, so it simulates the death of a robot. While many dangers still exist outside the wire, the robots are a useful tool for reducing harmful situations. I'm Airman First Class Marshal Hunsaker, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.